Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the Channel Fireball Classic Baller Box for June 2020. So this is a quarterly subscription service they have. Uh, the box runs for like 50 bucks and 9.99 shipping. Uh, I'm guessing the next one will be in September, so shipping quarterly. And they have a selection of Magic products picked by Channel Fireball. So last time round. Uh, back in March, they had some art prints, playmat, and so forth. So if you missed that video, I'll pop a link up in the corner. You can see what was in the previous box. Uh, so the last one had some good stuff in it, so I thought I would continue the subscription. And this video is not sponsored by Channel Fireball. I just saw an ad earlier this year, thought it sounded interesting. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so it ships in a rather boring priority mailbox. But let's see what we get here. So this thing looks interesting. What is this? Convertible premium debt box. Okay, let's take that out, check it out. Looks like a fabric debt box. It's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, very nice. Black fire. So, I guess, yeah, you can take off, okay, it's like a soft lining and attaches magnetically. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, that's something I would use. Very nice. Okay, let's dig around. There looks like there's another, oh, hello. A Acoria Lair of Behemoths pre-release pack. I will take that. Holy moly. We're in value town already. So that right there is about 25 bucks. Okay. And so we'll open that in a moment. We get a Pro 100 Plus debt box. Just one of these uh, plasticky type debt boxes. Nothing too exciting. We've got a dragon on the cover there. All right, set that aside. Rummaging around. Oh, okay. Bunch of booster packs. We'll open those as well. Um, is this lands? I'm not sure. We'll take a look at that. Uh, digging, digging, digging. Okay, so some sleeves. Some nice artwork on that. I don't usually use these sleeves because they don't fit very well. These, uh, what are they? Ultra Pro. Um, they have the designs on there. Maybe they're good, I don't know. Um, so then let's continue. Looks like we've got a playmat here. Is there anything else? A bunch of packing peanuts. Let's see what playmat we got today. Oh, okay. I don't have this one. So where is this? Grand Prix Seattle. That is pretty nice. Okay, Channel Fireball branded. Very nice, so I would definitely use that one. All right, so let's set that aside and see what is in all these packs over here. So we'll take a look at the booster packs real quick. Okay, so we've got Armin Ket, Hour of Devastation, Ixalan, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark. And why is this Ravnica Allegiance so shiny? Very curious. Okay. And in here, I'm wondering, is this just a land pack or random cards? It's really packed in there. I don't know. Okay, the whole thing is just tearing apart. Let's break that open. So what do we have? Okay, so basic lands. Not terribly exciting, but they are full art. I will give them that. So, Hour of Devastation, Swamps, Mountains, and Forests. Okay, so all your basic land needs covered there. Okay, let's start cracking some packs here. So we'll start off with Armin Ket. So no special art prints this month, but actually I, I like the selection here, other than the basic lands, which are a bit near. Yeah, the rest is pretty cool. Okay, so we start off here, Armanket, Ancient Crab, Minotaur, Sure Shot, Anointer Priest, Tarkrop Skirmisher, 
Miasmic Mummy, Colossipede. Pursue Glory, Unwavering Initiate, Trespasser's Curse, Final Reward. An Uncommon's Hazarat's Monument, Trail of Ambition, Avon Wind Guide, and the rare is Honored Hydra. Creature Snake Hydra 6646 six, mana with Trample has Embalm 3 and a green. So you can read that for more info about the Embalm mechanic. And a Mountain and Vizier of Many Faces. I don't know if I've ever seen this token. That is very nice. Okay. So it's been a while since I've opened any Armand Kit. On to Hour of Devastation. So clearing out some of their old packs, I guess, laying around the place. We've got Sandblast, Kindled Fury, Aerial Guide, Rampaging Hippo, Moaning Wall, Strategic Planning Wall of Forgotten Furrows, Desert of the Glorified, Scrandra of Souls, Defiant Kenra, and Uncommon's Bloodwater Entity, Riddle Form, Consigned to Oblivion, one of these split cards, and rare is Amet Eternal, Creature Zombie Crocodile Demon 553 with a flip 3. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses 3 life. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a minus 1, minus 1 counter on Amet Eternal. And whenever he deals combat damage to a player, remove all minus 1, minus 1 counters from it. With a full art planes and proven combatant token. So you may have noticed we do go through the commons on this channel. I absolutely love magic artwork, so... I will highlight it at every opportunity. On to some Ixalan. We got Fathom Fleet, Cutthroat, Nest Robber, Sunrise Seeker, Desperate Castaways, Prosperous Pirates, Blossom Dryad, Blinding Fog, Paladin of the Bloodstained, Gilded Sentinel, Thrash of Raptors, Uncommons, Dusk Legion, Dreadnought, Dark Nourishment, Tempest Caller, and Deep Root Champion. Not bad. Creature Merfolk Shaman, 1-1 one, one for 2. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Deep Root Champion. With a Plains and Vampire token. So what is your favourite set out of these? Did you start playing when these came out? Leave it out in the comments. And what is the deal? This is so shiny. That is very bizarre. I'm wondering, is it like a Japanese printed pack or something? No, everything's in the usual order. Okay. Shimmer of Possibility, Soraform Hybrid, 10th District Veteran, Plague White, Scorchmar, Humongulus, Debtors Transport, Persistent Petitioners, they are still over a buck, I can't believe it, Grotesque Demise, Root Snare, An Uncommon's Flames of the Raised Boar, Spire Mangler, Hacrobat, and a Mythic. Angel of Grace, Creature Angel 5 4 for 5 with Flash and Flying when it enters the battlefield until end of turn. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than 1 reduces it to 1 instead. And for 4 and 2i, exile it from your graveyard, your life total becomes 10. That seems like a very specific use case card there. Ors of Gilgate and Beast Token on to War of the Spark, hoping for a Mythic Planeswalker. I could do with a Liliana Dreadhorde General to add to the collection. Okay, we got Battlefield Promotion, Sky Theater Strix Blind Blast, Forced Landing, Vampire Opportunist, Totally Lost, Centaur Nurturer, Iron Bully, Erratic Visionary, Enforcer Griffin, and Dread Malkin for the Uncommons, Invade the City, Vraska's Swarms, Eminence, and a mythic, yes, a niv mizzet reborn. They're drawing a creature, dragon, avatar, 6-6, six, six, every color of the magic rainbow with flying. So when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library for each color pair. Choose a card that's exactly those colors from among them. Put the chosen cards into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And that, uh, all the colors there reminds me, over the weekend, we cracked open the Secret Lair Ultimate Edition. So five of the enemy fetch lands in a crazy huge box. If you missed that video, I'll pop a link up in the corner. Check it out. And a mountain and zombie army. All right. So the moment everyone's been waiting for, let's get into this pre-release box here. So I am calling this a win. I think I'll continue my subscription for another quarter. I'm happy with what I've got here and always on the lookout for more playmats. Okay, so let's roll lucky seven, no 18. Okay then. And 
yeah, just the usual stuff in there. Let's set that aside. So I've got the divider. Ah, these things. These are extra thick. So very nice. Hang on to those. And a code card in case you want a pre-release code for MTG Arena. And we've got yeah the divider. All right, so we will take a look at the promo later in the video. So meanwhile, six packs of Ikoria goodness. Let's get into it. Okay, let's boost that lighting. I notice it's a little bit dark. Okay, keep safe. Go for blood, divine arrow, sudden spinnerets. Almighty Brushwag, fear him. Springjaw Trap, Rumbling Rock Slide, Convolute, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, and Uncommon Sonorous Howbonder, Will of the Old Hunter, Ivy Elemental, and the rare, nice, Colossification, Enchantment Aura for seven, Enchant Creature, when it ends battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature, the Enchanted Creature gets plus 20, plus 20. We did a funny deck tech with this guy on uh, MTG Arena uh, about a week or two back. If you miss that, I'll pop a link up in the corner. So you attach this to another creature and then you fling it at your opponent, getting in more than 20 damage, craziness, and a Blossoming Sands and Human Soldier. Okay, another pack of Ikoria. <clears throat> Pretty soon, it'll be all about Core Set 2021. Cannot wait for that. All right, we have Keep Safe, Go for Blood, Divine Arrow. Okay, same sequence as before. Interesting. Sudden Spinnerets, Mutual Destruction, Flycatcher, Jirafid, Pacifism, Bliss Dispit, Gremlin, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, and Uncommon's Will of the Old Hunter. Unbreakable Bond, Grim Dancer, and a Mythic Winota, Joiner of Forces. So this is a legendary creature, human warrior, 4-4 four, for four, 4, doing some evil things in the standard format right now. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Gains indestructible until end of turn, put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. The Dismal Backwater and a Cat Token. Who is happy about the cats? Oh, I have to take a look at this guy. Look into my eyes. Yes, Evil Personified. Alright, we got the Helica Glider. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. Lava Serpent. Blade Banish. Survivor's Bond. Blitzleech. Check it out. Day Squad Marshal, Chris Station, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, and another one, Zenith Flare. Had another fun deck tech with this, so if you missed that, check it out. Pop a link up in the corner there. Unbreakable Bond, Insatiable Hemophage, Comic Book Art, and Rare, Extinction Event, Sorcery for Four. Choose Odd or Even, Exile each creature with command mana cost of the chosen value. The Rugged Highlands and Human Soldier. On to the next. So three more packs to go. Then we'll take a look at that promo. Alright, we got a Startling Development. Frenzied Raptor. Survivor's Bond. Patagia Tiger. Shredded Sails. Hampering Snare. Evolving Wilds. Everybody's favourite card. Blood Curdle. Plummet. And Uncommon's Alert, Heed Bonder, Fighters 1, Ivy Elemental, and Rare is Offspring's Revenge, Enchantment for 5. At the beginning of combat on your turn, exile target red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's 1-1. One, one. It gains haste until your next turn. And a foil, Unbreakable Bond. Let's get the lighting there. Perfect. And a Island... And another, so this is interesting. Let's do a quick comparison. You'll notice um, from the pre release, it's actually much thicker cardboard, so much better than those flimsy ones you get from the packs. Okay, two packs left, left, and it's this guy again. Where are the crazy pools, sir? We want to get some triomes, alternate art, preferably. We got a thieving otter, 
Go for Blood, Spontaneous Flight, Wingfold Terron, Serrated Scorpion, Survivor's Bond, Day Squad Marshal, Crustacean, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, and Uncommons, Jubilant Skybonder, Heartless Act, Lord Dracus, okay, comic book art there, and oh, nice! Savai Triome, uh, you tap it for red, white, or black, and spade field tap, cycle it for three, fantastic pull, and a planes, and human soldier. So, very happy about that one, and final pack here, let's get into it. And don't forget, we've got the pre-release there as well, the uh, promo card. We've got Cathartic Reunion, Divine Arrow, Glimmer Bell. Pyroceratops, Ram Through, Blitzleech, Coordinated Charge, Migratory Great Horn, Comic Book Art, Gloom Pangolin, Clash of Titans for the Uncommons, Ketria Crystal, Unbreakable Bond, and Rare, Kahira the Orphan Guard. They're doing Creature Cat Beast, 323 three, with Companion. So each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card. It has Vigilance and each other creature you control that's Cat, Elemental, Nightmare, Dinosaur, or Beast gets plus one, plus one, and has Vigilance. And a Foil Rare Titan's Nest, Enchantment for four. Beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard, exile a card from your graveyard. Get to add Colors Mana, spend this mana only to cast a Colored Spell without X in its mana costs. And a Dismal Backwater and Human Soldier. Okay, so let's get into this card here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. What do we have here? If I can ever get it out of here, it looks a little pringled. It is a foil extinction event. All right, so we saw this one earlier. Some nice foiling on that. All right, so there we have it. That is the Channel Fireball Classic Baller Box for June 2020. Leave a note in the comments. Let me know what you think. Have you picked this up or are you thinking about it? I actually don't think they're open for subscriptions right now, but I guess they'll reopen at some point in the future. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.